All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at a fake card that is a Light Sworn monster, uh, despite the typo. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Light Sworn monsters, of course, they have Michael. And despite having some level 4 tuners and some level 4 monsters, they never got themselves, a, you know, a thing specific level 8 synchro. So this guy decided to go ahead and uh, create that monster. So we're going to go ahead and look at this card, determine if this is a real card, would it be good, whether Light Sworn would play it, and uh, how well it would fit into the deck. So this is Rotor Light Sworn. It's supposed to be Sworn. That's a, that's a type of uh, Crusader. He is a light level 8 warrior synchro effect monster. 2800 attack, 2500 defense. So the stats are totally fine. You know, you're over the attack barrier with your attack and even your defense is, uh, is uh, nice and nice 25 booty. So no complaints there. Uh, made with one tuner monster plus one or more non tuner light sworn monster. So uh, it's not a generic synchro. It's not a monster you could just throw in every deck. You're going to, of course, use your tuner and your non tuner level 8 synchro. So it'd be something like a. Uh, like a Raiden plus another level 4 sequel, maybe like a Lila or something, or Jane if you're running her, you know. Or, you know, you can do Felis and, you know, Wolf or something. You know, there's, there's a nice handful of level 4 uh, Light Sworn monsters that you can use, both tuner and non tuner, to go ahead and combine into this. So there is no complaints, you know. It doesn't have to be just, you know, Lumina plus, you know, uh, a Raiden to make Michael, you know. we With this, you would have other possibilities for uh, some more. Uh, Access. I mean, of course, Light Swans do run some level 8 synchros, but they don't have their own, you know, theme specific ones. So let's go ahead and look at the effect and determine whether this is like mm or eh. So, uh, once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. All right, as simple as that. It's kind of like a Stardust Spark effect. Uh, pretty much just, you know, uh, every single turn, whether it be yours or your opponent's, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. So, whether it be your opponent, you know, coming at you twice, so being like attack, oh. I'm not destroyed by battle. All right, attack again. All right, now I'm dead. Or simply just summoning JD. Of course, uh, you won't be dead by that first JD wipe. So you summon this, and usually you'd summon JD. JD wipe the entire field for a thousand, including your own cards. But this would be like, hey, I can't be destroyed by card effect once per turn. So when you do that JD wipe, I'm living. So that's pretty powerful, you know. Something that can go ahead and survive a JD wipe and you know continue to push because you know. You usually have to do a correct order with things, but you could have this already on the field. Summon JD, JD, pay a thousand to do your wipe, this will survive. Summon another JD, tap, 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 game. So, uh, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty power. That's the first fact, that's not bad, that's not bad. Uh, second fact, during your main phase, if this card was special summoned this turn, okay, so this card was special summon, not synchro summon, but special summon this turn, okay, that might be kind of interesting. Uh, you can send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard, okay. And if you do, shuffle cards on the field into the deck up to the number of light sworn cards. That's, there's another light sworn typo right there. I'll probably fix it in the description, but yeah, that, there's another typo. Like, he got it right when he put the materials, one or more non tuner light sworn monsters, but in the name and in, in the effect, no, it's, it's, it's clearly misspelled. It looks like light sorin, light sorin <laughs> uh, cards, uh, sensor grab by its effect. Also, your opponent takes no further damage this turn. You can only use this effect of Rodent Light Sworn Crusader. I'm assuming once per turn. It, it just says you can only use this effect of Light and what Light Sworn Crusader once per turn, once per duel. Like, mm? <laughs> I would really like to know. There's this huge difference between once per turn and once per duel. I'm assuming once per turn, but you know, this is a pretty powerful effect, of course. Um, so similar to uh, Minerva and her nice like send the top cards draw. This card, uh, of course, has something to do with that. You send the top two cards of your deck to a graveyard and for every Light Sworn monster, uh, Light Sworn, not even monster, so Light Sworn card sent from uh, the top of the deck to the graveyard's effect, you get to do some non-targeting spinning. And as we know from, of course, Tiramisu and Ignister, non-targeting spinning back to deck. Oh, and of course, Drowning Mirror for us is shot up to like $30. Uh, non-targeting, returning back to the deck is probably one of the best things you can do to a card, you know? Um, you're not targeting, it's going back to the deck, it's not going to get the fact, even if it's removed from the field, and of course, it's shuffled back into the deck. It's pretty powerful. And I make up for what the, the creative card decided to say, like, your opponent takes no further damage, so that way, you know, despite, you know, using this powerful effect, even with JD wiping the entire field, you get to still do damage. But this, you're going to go ahead and shuffle uh, up to two cards on the field, back to the deck, kind of tiramisu style, and of course, non-targeting, uh, returning to the deck, but your opponent would take no further damage. Yo, that's interesting. I think that's a good exchange. I really do, you know. I really do. Because the way that this card can be blessed out in the lights and the power that this card has for that effect, that's pretty powerful. Um, 
I'm assuming once per turn, so I'm gonna go ahead and say with that. And it's interesting that it says during your main phase, if this card was special summoned this turn. So it's not something, it's not once per turn you keep doing it, but if this card was special summoned, you know, not Sandcross summoned, but just special summoned. So you could simply just, you know, throw in some, you know, Call of the Haunted or Oasis's. This card is in the graveyard. You can be like, all right, well, Call the Haunted. All right, during my main phase, if this card is special summoned, yes, yes. Let me go ahead and use my effect again. So, you know, it's interesting that it's not like, you know, uh, you know, once per turn, if this card was synchro summon or something like that, but no. During your main phase, if this card was special summon this turn, so you can pretty much only use it once on the field, once it's on the field. But, uh, you know, the fact that it's not when it's synchro summon, but just special summon, you could probably do some, uh, some nice shenanigans with that as well. So, uh, it doesn't say that it cannot be, uh, cannot be special summoned, uh, so you can just simply revive it, whether it be to Call the Haunted or Oasis or Soul Charge or whatever, and then use its effect again, as long as you summon it, uh, uh, you know, use the effect during your main phase, and it was special summon this turn. So yeah. Uh, overall, I do not think it's a bad card, you know, it's, it has that Ignister, uh, you can't do the damage, and uh, there's a lot of risk versus reward, and the whole, it can't be destroyed by Battle by Card effect thing is, uh, for once per turn, it's nice too, it has a lot of synergy with JD and, uh, you know, some light storm shenanigans, so that's cool. So, overall, just a little bit of cleanup, a little bit of polish on the effect, you know, and overall, if, if Konami released this card for life storms, I wouldn't be shocked, because it just definitely seems like it was a card that life storms would get, so, yeah. So, uh, anyway, in the comment section below, go ahead and tell me what you guys think of Rotter Light Sworn Crusader. So, I hope that you guys enjoy, oh, and the card art, the card art fits perfectly, too. You know, it fits perfectly. I like how it has this little border, but yet it kind of leaks out of its own border, and then has, an, the, of course, the border of the card art, so that's, that's kind of interesting, too. So tell me what you guys think about Rotter Light Sworn Crusader in the comment section below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Of course, we'll be back next Friday with another fake card to look at. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.